Hey guys, welcome back to Gardening with Creations by DX and Co. I uh, just wanted to do a very quick video about some of the differences that I've had with my 10x12 green, Harbor Freight greenhouse versus my 6x8. So let's get started. So this is a very quick video guys, but I just wanted to share some of kind of my frustrations with the 10 by 12 and granted I have not restructured, reframed like everybody suggests to do. I'm not in a high wind area, although it does feel like this year it has been extremely windy. Uh, but let me show you some of the things that's going on with the 10 by 12 versus when I had my six by eights. Uh, so Structurally, it just, you know, unless you build a solid base, like they say, pour concrete, so on and so forth, there's all these gaps at the bottom, airflow coming in, um, you can see just isn't right. And I know I'm going to get a lot of comments like, well, that's your own fault. And that's true. But what I'm trying to say is like with the 6x8, it was very easy to level out with just using some uh Two by sixes, not very expensive, and it was very structurally sound. And then, as you can see with the doors of the 10 by 12, they are sliding quite nicely. So nicely, in fact, that apparently the wind literally pushed them open, ripped out one of the panels. And this is the second time now that the wind has ripped out my panels on my greenhouse on this greenhouse and I fixed all the roof panels up again and so on and so forth and the doors just got pushed open so you can imagine you know it is 50 degrees out here and it's cold inside the greenhouse right um, I love the headroom which is just fantastic so I'm able to kind of trellis up some of my peppers using that but look, that's my window, right? And it just ripped right out of the frame. And I don't even understand how that's possible because it slides in the track and the, and it was closed and yet the wind just ripped it right out of the frame. And that's frustrating. So um, I've replaced these panel, not replaced, put the panels back in. They have not broken, so I haven't replaced them, but I put these panels back in multiple times now. Um, and I have extra clips that I've put in to help secure it. And again, the wind just somehow gets in here and rips them right out of the clips. And you can see the clips are actually still in the actual thing. Um, and just takes the panels right out. You can see there's my front panel laying right there. And I had my 6x8 in the same spot where this is. And I never had this problem. In fact, I put two 6x8s together and I had basically a 6x16, as you guys can check back in the videos, and I didn't have these problems. And so on top of that, I just, I don't know if it's just the space, the volume, this thing's not, or just, you know, the fact that there's so much room underneath, this thing's not holding heat at all. So... And the amount of money that it would cost me to heat this thing is gonna would be insane. So we'll see how it does when the winter hits. It's now officially November 1st. And it is, you know, a cold weather is going to start kicking in. Uh, which is a bummer because, like, these peppers were really doing really well. And they were starting to put on uh, new leaves and everything inside of here. So I was really hoping I could grow year-round in here. I even planted some new... Uh, regular bell peppers in there hoping that they'll root they look dead right now but that is water soil so they hopefully would root so I was hoping this would hold some better heat just for all these peppers and such but it's not looking like that's gonna be a thing so unfortunately I may have to take some of this stuff inside but we'll see so those are just uh, a few of the differences so like I said, just a really quick video. I wasn't trying to draw this out for you guys or anything and really get into the nitty gritty, but these are just a few things that I noticed. 
Perhaps it's the additional volume of how much bigger it is. Trust me, I love the space and I love not hitting my head. Uh, but at the same time, is it really worth it if the wind just catches it that much more and rips all these panels off? And it, it's frustrating. Uh, do I feel like this has been a windier year for Michigan? Yeah, I absolutely do. But at the same time, I can't imagine that it was ever this bad. So um, even then, before I had chain link fences, I didn't have privacy fences for, you know, blocking the wind. So and now I have privacy fences that I put up. So it's weird. Um, it's frustrating, you know, and uh, eventually I'll probably just do a custom build and say screw it. But um, it's just some of the differences that I noticed. Maybe if you're teetering between the 6x8 and the 10x12, you know, trust me, all day long I'll take this room. But it means absolutely nothing if it's not actually functioning like a greenhouse, you know. As always, guys, appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying your gardens.